Good afternoon. I've been thinking about something for, for a number of years now and uh, thought I would just maybe put some words uh, to the thought and that is uh, about the ability for us as, as humans to create and to create things of beauty. And when you, when you think about it, every one of us, whether we can sing or paint or draw or, or uh, play, a, play an instrument or, or sculpt, every one of us really are grand creators. Uh, and, and it comes to us very naturally uh, because we are the children of God. And God is the most amazing artist ever, ever to be. All you have to do is walk out into nature and very quickly you are overwhelmed by the stunning majesty of his ability to create um, scenes of beauty uh, from mountaintops to lakes and valleys and rivers and streams. You can look up in the, in, in the night sky and see the majesty of the heavens. And it, it really is in our DNA to be creators. And when, when you think about it, uh, every day is kind of like a blank canvas. And we wake up and we, we choose the, the brush strokes and the colors uh, that will make up the, the portrait of our day by the words that we speak. And, and by the actions that we perform. And really, we create things of beauty, uh, masterpieces each day. And the fun is that we get to wake up the next day and try to create something of beauty, something that is lasting, and something that will bring joy, uh, not only to ourselves, uh, but to others. And I use that as a, as a preface uh, to uh, just, I, just recently I have become uh, interested in, in doing a little bit more create, uh, doing more creation and uh, in the form of painting. And I, I took an oil class at a local university um, but it, I, I never completed the course. Uh, it's kind of a, a, a hard time uh, in life and I just never quite got there. Uh, but I, I attended a, um, a little paint workshop, um, a painting night uh, that my sister hosted at her house and, and that was back oh, maybe four or five months ago. And I, and I, I kind of got a little bug again, and I thought, man, I can, I, I can do this. And so I've been searching YouTube and, and have found step-by-step uh, -step artists like, uh, like, like Bob Ross. <laughs> Isn't he fun? <laughs> and uh, and uh, I, I've been watching Angela Anderson and she's really good too. And so I, I, I've never dabbled with acrylics, but I purchased some acrylic paints and, and began, to, uh, began to dabble. And the results have been, at least for me, they have been very fun. And it really, it just fills this innate uh, desire to create uh, things of beauty. Anyway, here we go. <laughs>
Well, I just got the background put down, and it turned out better than I was hoping. <laughs> it's like it's kind of magic what oils and brushes can do. Of course, these are acrylics, not oils. Um, the one challenge that I have is sometimes the paint lifts off, like down in this little corner um, right there, and every time I try to cover it up, it just pulls more paint off, and so I don't know if I have to let it dry, but anyway, there will be a big beautiful tree that will go right in the middle of that. Well, not the greatest tree in the world, but hopefully it will do. I thought, oh my gosh, is this ever going to turn out? And, um, but there it is, and I'm really happy for my second. 